Hello YouTube, I'm Orange Peter, and today I'd like to give you a quick tutorial about how to use tile sets in your games. Uh, now, I am by no means a tile set power user, so I'm just going to tell you the bare minimum, which is pretty much all I know, just so you can go and get started. And I wanted to go ahead and tell you this, especially because I am using tile sets in a lot of my tutorials lately. So, here we go. First step, find your tile sets. I have been using this Open Game Art website and there's a lot of cool people who are sharing their art over there and um, when you're using art from here be sure to double check the licenses before you download them but I have checked the licenses and I have picked out these tile sets for the tutorial and links will be in the description so when you're using the tile sets first you need to import them as sprites so if I drag my window over here and reveal my desktop we can see that I already have them downloaded here to my desktop and the GameMaker feature that I learned quite recently is that you can actually just go ahead and drag these in so I'm going to go ahead and click on this or I'm going to click on both of them and I'm going to go and drag them under the sprites folder and there we go um, as you can see the uh, they're imported with this pink background so we're going to need to fix that real quick so I'm going to just go ahead and edit the image anytime you're editing tiles it's going to be through the standard sprite editor I'm going to use the magic wand tool and there we go that fixes up most of it but there's still some pink in some places so I'm gonna go ahead and spend some time nitpicking at it and cut to when I'm finished alright so once you have your tile sets imported as sprites and they're all clean we can go ahead and um, set them up as tile sets so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new tile set um, so right click on your tile sets folder hit create and go to tile set and I'm just going to go ahead and name this one, I don't know, Tile Ground. Because that's the main one thing I'm using this particular tile set for. Um, and I'm going to use this one right there. So once you create your tile set and select the sprite, you can go ahead and click on Tile Set Properties. And it'll pull up this Properties window right over here. And this goes ahead and gives GameMaker the information it needs in order to break them up into um, chunks, into squares for your for your rooms. So I'm just going to walk through them real quick. So uh, tile width and tile height is how big each of those tiles are. So you can see I can go ahead and change those numbers and they'll change in real time. Um, offset you can change as well which just says how far is it offset from this top right corner. Um, separation how much space there is between the tiles. And then I read into output border X, output border Y, group, and disable source sprite export. And I think for like 98% of you, the defaults are just fine here. And it's going to take some time to get into, so I'm just going to skip over them right now. Um, okay, so the default of 16, 16, 0, 0, 0, 0 actually works pretty well for this particular tile set. Except if you kind of notice, there is a little bit of shifting here where it seems like um, this would benefit from being shifted down when you can see a little sliver right there and you can see a sliver on that rug and you can see a sliver on this table so we'd actually like to offset the whole thing down which is a perfect pedagogical moment because I can just do that by doing one right there and it fixes it so uh, it's a really flexible system okay I'm gonna import the other one and then we can start making our room okay once you have all of your tile sets set up we can go ahead and jump over to our room then if you want to make tile sets they have to go in the t in a tiles layer in the room so there's multiple layers here I'm gonna make a new tile layer like so then you get this tile editing panel and then you select which tile set you want to use uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the ground first and I want to use th this ground tile right here and then you can place them in your room. Um, so if you're working with tile sets, a lot of them will probably be pixel art, which means that the default room size, as you can see here, is way too big for your for your tiles. You don't want to be seeing it at this scale. You want to be seeing it at like I don't know this scale. So to fix that, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the room properties over here, and I'm gonna make this 320 by 180, and that looks whoop, much better for me. 
So now we can just go ahead and drag over here to set the floor. And it looks like it's going to take a little while. So let me just go ahead and tell you some tricks to make that go a little faster so I don't tediously fill in this whole floor. You can actually change the brush size over here. So I'm going to change the brush size to 4, which makes me, lets me place them in a 4x4 four four grid. So you can see that lets me fill it in much faster. Now I want to use the other tile set, but in Game Maker they only let you use one tile set type per layer. So this is our, I guess, tiles underscore ground, or I'm going to do it this way, tiles ground. And now I want to make another layer for tiles wall. I'll go ahead and select my tile set, bottom, and I want to place the wall. So here I've selected one tile, one wall tile, and I kind of want to just follow this pattern, one, two, three. So I can just place them one at a time, like so, but that's still pretty tedious. And playing with the brush side doesn't quite fix the problem because you still get these weird scenarios where there's like a bunch of wall edges or something like that. So GameMaker has an answer for this too, and you can actually select a section of them and have them be placed all together. So I can have the brush size one and have them be placed in a group like that. Or I can increase the brush size, and then I can place them tiled in a bulk like like that. So this is a very nice feature. And then I can go ahead and select these three to make the tops, like so. Pretty nice. OK, now the next thing I want to do is I want to place some, de some decals on the wall and the ground. So I'd like to select these, and I'd like to put them on there, but it seems to overwrite the other tile sets, or the previous tiles I placed. So if you are in the situation where you want to place multiple tiles on top of each other, um, then you can make a new. You have to make a new tile layer for that, and then for that I'm going to call it tiles decals, and then select the tile set. And then we can place these over there to our heart's content. Has to be even. And I could place this rug here. Nice and simple. So now I know how to place tiles, but there's a couple other like gotchas that you might run into, especially when you're working with pixel art. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play, and let me let's see how that looks. So that looks good, except it's really tiny especially on my my screen and I want this to look good for you on YouTube so I want to make this bigger so to do that let's see considering we have this small room size we actually make a custom view which shows which enlarges the room in the uh, final window so the way you do that is you go into your properties where you set the room size open up the viewports view camera section hit enable viewports then hit visible on the first viewport. Now we're going to set the width of the camera to be 320 by by 180, same as the room dimensions. So the camera is how big the view is in the room, but the viewport is how big it is on the final window. So we want it to actually be much bigger on the window. So I'm going to have it be 1280 by 720, which is just multiplying them all by 4. Okay. So let's try that, and that should make it be a much more reasonable size. Excellent. So for most of you, this will probably look just fine. But uh, for some of you, you might have this problem that I'm having right now where it's blown up and it looks kind of blurry. There's actually many ways you can scale something up in computer graphics, and some of them make it look blurry, which is great for photorealism not so great for pixel art. So let me show you how to fix that if any of you are running into this problem. So you need to open up your assets page over here. So you're going to hit this little hamburger menu up here, then hit game options. And then I'm going to go to Windows, but some of you might be on the Mac and have to go to Mac. Then I'm going to go to graphics. And if you're having that issue, that likely means that you have this interpolate colors between pixels option. It's checked. 
So we're going to uncheck it and hit apply. And this is anybody who's making pixel art games, you never want this checked. If you're making something more higher resolution, you probably want that checked. So, and that looks awesome. Okay, that is all for this tutorial. Um, I hope you found it helpful. Again, this is just the basics on tile sets. Game Maker has all kinds of other cool features on tile sets, like animating the tile sets and doing auto tiling, but that's not my forte, so I'm not going to try and make a tutorial about it. I'm sure there are other great tutorials on YouTube about that. So before we end, I also want to mention that this video is actually part of a playlist of tutorials where I make a castle-themed game. And on the screen right now, you can see the final product. And if there's any effects in here that you think look look neat, then um, check out the playlist. There's a tutorial for every single one of the, the effects in that final product. So I hope to see you there. And uh, thank you so much for watching.